Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. Today I'm going to be explaining power brakes, also referred to as uh, vacuum assist brakes. So, what we've got going on here, it may look a little complicated, but I'll go through the system and hopefully in the end it will all make sense. So here on the right we've got our brake pedal. This is what you'll actually be pushing your foot on. And the ultimate goal that we want to achieve is to move this piston in and increase the fluid pressure of this brake fluid, which will go out to all your brake pads, uh, and then you'll brake your car, slow down your car. So, what we've got going on in the inside of this vacuum assist chamber is we've got two chambers. One on the left side, which will pretty much always have a vacuum, and then this chamber on the right side, which can either have a vacuum or atmospheric pressure. Now, we've got a link, so there's this plate in the center, that has a hole in it so that the vacuum can reach this other chamber. Now, what happens is, is this plate here can move up and down with these hinges, or left and right, rather, and as you push in this brake pedal, what's gonna happen is you've got these seals here. Now, these seals are preventing the atmospheric air, which is in this, from getting inside of this chamber. So, once you press on the brake pedal, it's gonna push in and this seal right here is going to be opened up, and that atmospheric air is going to be allowed to enter into here. Simultaneously, this seal here is going to close off so there's no longer a hole between this, the chamber with the vacuum and the chamber without the vacuum. So as that's sealed and the atmospheric pressure comes in, it's going to push very hard on this plate because you've got a vacuum on one side, high pressure on the other, it'll force it this direction. And that'll make it much easier for you when you push on the gas pedal so you don't have to push in as hard. So as that force pushes in, it pushes this cylinder, which pushes on the brake fluid, which distributes out to your brakes and you slow down your car. So the real important thing here basically is just these two seals. So this black part here can move forward and this green part here is gonna seal off this hole. And that happens simultaneously. So as you open up, you seal off this, and then the atmospheric air rushes in to fill the vacuum because that vacuum has been created um, from your intake manifold. So your intake manifold is going to have a vacuum in it because your engine cylinders are pulling in air. Well, they're also going to be pulling in air from this vacuum chamber. And when you're not on the brakes, that vacuum chamber is connected to here, so it's going to have a vacuum in this whole area. That's why if you ever uh, turn off your car and you push in the brakes and you're still moving, it'll work once because it'll fill up this chamber with the, uh, that had the vacuum in it. But if you try to brake again and you're still moving with the car off, you're not going to have that vacuum filled because the engine isn't running. So then you're going to have to push a lot harder and just use the leverage point that you have to force in that brake fluid. So it's going to be a lot more difficult which is a great benefit of vacuum assist. So this big black chamber you see here is the uh, vacuum assist for the power brakes. Uh, here we've got our brake fluid. And so as you can see, it's got a tube running from the vacuum assist. We follow that to the intake manifold. So as the engine is running and pulling in air into the cylinders, there's gonna be a vacuum in here and that vacuum will also pass along into this chamber to be used to assist in braking.